Hey right guys, Trophy Munchers Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of Queen Charlotte Season 1. Oh, Queen Charlotte! Something like that, that's basically what this show is. But episode 1 was pretty good, um, I enjoyed seeing Lady Danbury and how their friendship between Lady Danbury and Queen Charlotte kind of came to be. Um, I was curious why this had such a low rating, and someone could think of one answer was that they made Queen Charlotte black. I was like, okay. I, it's so... F I don't know. Like, I feel like so many people, like, now just don't... F at least from what I've seen, just don't really care about that. I don't know. It's like, oh, okay, she's black. I, I didn't even think that would be, like, an actual reason. But then someone pointed out, I was like, oh, yeah, obviously that's going to be a reason why probably people are giving this. Because, uh, as reference, last episode I mentioned how it, this had the lowest rated show that i've seen in a long time i had 13 percent on track <laughs> which i've been on track for five years i've never seen a show that low rated i think it might have gone up a little bit now because i think humans with actual brains are rating it now which helps <laughs> which helps the percentage let's see what it's gone up to um so it was at 13 it's at 55 now which is a huge jump i still think that is very low. I mean, granted, I've not seen how it ends. It could be horrific, but uh, at one I thought was fine. I don't think it was anything to write home about. I don't think it was awful. Um, we'll see kind of where they go. I'm not, like I said, going into the show, I wasn't expecting anything tremendous anyway, uh, and I got pretty much what I expected from that one, which is uh, yeah, the spin-off show. <laughs> so, episode two, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut, well, early by like an episode or two, and uncut reactions to Queen Charlotte, uh, then Patreon will be linked down below. You can also get the uncut reactions to Bridgerton uh, seasons one and two over on there as well, or you can just watch those reactions on YouTube, of course, as well. But anyway, guys, episode two. Let's do this. Honeymoon Bliss. They're on their honeymoon already. I'm sure it's just going to be done in separate buildings. I wonder how much... I'm not even going to ask how much of this is accurate. None of this is accurate. They said at the start, they did that thing at the start to be like, yeah, just so you know, this isn't accurate at all. So, I mean, uh, uh, Queen Charlotte's black, but we don't care about that, so please don't tweet us about it. What do you mean? Queen Charlotte was white. I wonder what the corpse of Queen Charlotte thinks about this show. <laughs> the fact they're all stood out there waiting, like they're waiting for it to ring that bell. That I couldn't sleep. There's so much to take in here. The art, seeing the galleries of London, and I have always loved the theatre and music. Are there concerts? Oh, oh you can't do any of that. You diary. have Majesty, to stay in there is the nothing in your engagement diary. Ha! How can there be? Would it be historically inaccurate if Queen Charlotte right now just cracked open a can of Dr. Pepper? Hmm. Let's search. How old is Dr. Pepper? 1885. Is the king. He is well suited to anyone. She is lucky. She is. That is not the question. Oh, what is the question? A female is present. I cannot speak. Oh, no! <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Oh my god. It is all so very modern now. In my day, there were seven people in the bedchamber on my wedding night. Bloody hell! What is this blasphemy? I would listen to a damned woman. To answer your question, yes, it would be historically inaccurate if Queen Charlotte cracked open a can of Dot Pepper. And we know that Georgie, the king, can be... A whore? Absolutely perfect. We all yes, 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 but, 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 but. He is truly perfect. The strongest of kings. It is just that he has his own mind. Very independent. A most original thing. Mm. Oh, wait, no, they're calling him small brained. The actions one usually takes on one's wedding night have not been taken. Ah. That would hurt the great experiment. No, they are talking about sex, and Okay, that's good. It is a wonderful experiment. Long live the experiment. Okay, all right, then, mate. Has he done the deed or not? Oh my God! Would it be historically inaccurate if she just pulled open one of those trays and McDonald's was on there? Oh, is that the day done? Day finished? Okay, cool. What an exhilarating um, man, it was what like four hours she's been chilling out for. I know she just changed her clothes. Okay. 
I think she's already realised like, oh, this is my life for for the next forever. She's already bored of it. It's been one day. <laughs> oh, she's doing it again. Oh my god. What a miserable existence. How did you know she wanted that book? God, they all look like they really need to go to the toilet and they can't because they're forbidden. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that's a very, very cool reaction. However, there are some very special joys well worth waiting for. Oh, Dune Part 2. <laughs> And the Barbie film, uh, bang, and Oppenheimer. So, yeah, she's, she's not wrong. No. But Mama, no. I believe you would quite like her. She is a delightful person. She is an actress. No. Break it off and find a suitable woman. There are already children. Look at all these Pomeranians, bro. <laughs> Which of King George's children will bring us closer to a royal heir to the throne if patience is a virtue or a burden? Oh, uh, no, I need to go get my Pomeranian now. I can't. Just you wait, I'll show you, I'll show you one. I'll show you what the actual thing you can do. Mine aren't historically accurate, but... Alright, who's up first? That is up first. Historically accurate Pomeranian number one. Um, if you were born in the olden days, you would be called a Lithlupian instead of Ellie. Okay. Historically accurate Pomeranian one down. Katara. If you were born in the olden days, you would be called Catuthius. Historically accurate Pomeranian number two. <laughs> See, Katara's camera shy though, so I'm gonna have to flip round. <laughs> there you go, Katara. Show them how it's done. There we go. You look like a beaten dog. All right, there you go. You can stay for the rest of the episode now. Ready to carriage? Yes, Your Majesty. May I say our destination? We are going to see my husband. Oh, let's not get wild. Where is he? Your Majesty, we were not expecting Where is he? The observatory, Your Majesty. We're looking at stars. Mm. Wait here. Um, I'm always jealous. The Queen's two. man has far better quarters than the Queen's man. To be expected. I am more important than you. Brimmers and Draco. Yep. I wonder if that's historically accurate. I'm, I'm. It's a joke because I actually genuinely don't care. <laughs> I'll declare that one up. You suppose they'll spend fifteen minutes together now? Oh, let us hope for twenty. Oh. My guy's like, yeah, I can hold on for twenty minutes. God, backing himself. That's so excessive. George, what have I done wrong? What mistake did I make? You made no mistake. Did I say something to offend you? No. Did I do something to offend you? No, Then Charlotte. what is it? What is so wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Well, there must be something he wrong He just with loves you. the you moon more than George, I thought you, you were I visiting uh, a brothel in that stuffy house, being changed like a doll three times a day with no <laughs> one to go, much, yeah. no one to talk to, and nothing to do. You're the queen. You can do whatever you like. Except spend time with my husband. Come now, Charlotte. George! I do not understand what you complain about. George, you just are a robot. Beep, boop, beep, boop, look at the planet, bore off. I do not know a single soul here except for you. I'm completely alone, and you prefer the sky to me. George! What? Say something! Literally anything, bro, come on. He had an actual personality when they first met. That all lost. Or is there something deeper? There definitely will be. Well, that wasn't 20 minutes, so Brimsley better. I'll wrap up. Oh, okay. Yeah, sort of. God, you could not be more obvious that you two have just had sex. <laughs> Walking out like. This is so obvious. I would not dare to define the emotions of the king. Of course not. I only meant that he seems happy. And what evidence of this? Uh, well, they spent some time in the observatory. 
There is laughter. It warms the heart to witness. What of their relations? Relations? Their marital bonds. Bonds. Sex. The Dowager Princess wishes to confirm that the marriage has been consummated. Sexually. Oh, calm down, bro. Perhaps we shall have an heir on the way before the next fortnight. <laughs> well, Fortnite comes out in like 2018, so you might have a while to wait. God. God, these are worse than horror films, these scene is. No one needs to be witnessing that. Oh, God! No one needs to see that. Ah, yes, what great transition. <laughs> Not that I presume to understand. Where's the title? Lord Danbury. He must have been given a taste, and now he will not be denied. She's playing so try and join the a young version of Lady Danbury very well. I don't know who this actress is, but she's doing, like, the mannerisms and all that stuff. What if he puts another one of his gigantic babies inside me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the horror. I, I genuinely a horror as well. I'm not even being sarcastic. What we got for breakfast today? Looks like a bagel with some jam and a pomegranate. Exquisite and historically accurate, <laughs> I think. Ah, look at that trotting horse, Trotters McGee. Uh, orange. Does not let's pick it. Oh my god, why? What a waste of time. The meal. I can pick my own orange, Grimsley. Yes, Your Majesty. Go for another. Uh, orange. No, he, what has she just said? The king has sent you a gift. It is waiting in the foyer. And there is a note, ma'am. I never want you to feel alone, George. Well, you failed. Show me the gift. It's like a cardboard cutout of George. Or a Pomeranian. It might be a Pomeranian. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> what is that? Oh. that is the gift from the king, your majesty. But what is it? <laughs> a dog, Your Majesty. No. That was the cutest dog ever. That is a deformed bunny. Oh, no, 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 no. Cover your ears, guys. That's the cutest dog ever. <laughs> and not ever. The third cutest dog ever. <laughs> Hell yeah. Piss on the carpet. Leave a poo over there. I will, however, always tell you how best to do the thing. <laughs> Little pause up like that. <clears throat> and if one wanted to be discreet, would one trust Lady Danbury? Yes. The friendship begins. At least we're getting Lady Danbury out of that bloody horror house. Are you meeting each of your ladies and waiting individually? No. Oh. Brimsley said you would be the most discreet because I am on my honeymoon. <laughs> Brimley did say that. It was alright if your wedding night was not perfect or splendid. It, yeah, it was definitely none of those things. He was mean and rude and selfish. He just wanted to leave. He felt bad, I suppose. And he did not seem to understand why I did not want him to live at Q while I am stuck here. And about that's the opposite. Like, she actually just wants to spend time with him. If you did not consummate the marriage, you are not actually married to the king. Your whole position is in danger. Great experiment is in danger. My God, you did consummate. No. Perform the marital act. Does it have something to do with this great experiment? Oh, jeez. Uh, some learning to do. We will require drawing paper and charcoals. <laughs> How many times uh, does it start it? This is a pretty good drawing, actually. How long does it take? Sometimes it feels like it takes forever. Well, I enjoy it. I never have. <laughs> wow, that's... I do not believe I've ever thought of it as something to enjoy. Look well, at olden days porn. You are a brimsy. Then maybe we can forget all about this and I can go home. It is a Pomeranian. Hell yeah. Do you hear that, guys? It, bunny. it is a dog. Getting that recognition, that representation that Pomeranians deserve. Oh my God. 
God, do we need another scene of it? It is simple. Find a titled, appropriate young lady, marry her, make baby. I love that they stayed best friends. And damn the rest of it. Countess Violet Bridgerton, Your Majesty. Ah, do sit down and join us. Your Majesty, e expert, you have a great many children. Yes, I suppose I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great many children. As Your Majesty decide. You have had two <laughs> weddings in two years. How do you do it? Uh, do, do what? Well, they both actually found love naturally, I think. Not naturally, they still kind of forced it, but they did fall in love. It helps if they are in love. Love? Yes. Love, don't be ridiculous. They are in love with women who are already married. Love is not the <laughs> issue. Love has produced over 50 illegitimate babies for the crown. 50 illegitimate... Okay, that's quite a lot. I'd say that's like 49 too many. Four children have done me the honour of moving many continents away. <laughs> Companionship, tradition, family, warmth, and if they take the time to <laughs> become confused. close, well, match does not have to start out as love. Love can bloom from the thorniest of gardens, can it not? Blooming love. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lady Danbury. Metaphors make me nauseated with their sweetness, but I applaud your point. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I shall simply find them wives myself, order them to marry, and they can worry about the love part later. Well, that's not really what they're getting at, but that's... sure. <laughs> and the dog needs to be let out for poo-poos. <laughs> yes! <laughs> The best carriage in season two of Bridgeton was the dog as well. It's gonna be the Pomeranian this time. What is keeping him from her bed? You worry about your own side of the world. Okay. Damn it, Potter! Hey! Leave it alone! Katara, you make it so hot. <laughs> so difficult to just hold you. <laughs> we had tea. You had tea? Yes. And? I met her puppy. Puppy? Yes, she has a Pomeranian. Did you hear that? She has a Pomeranian guitar. Representation matters, guitar. And if we are bold, the latest musical composition. I do not think the girl knows. She knows. Agatha. Oh, she pulled out the we first name. We know what tea is generally about. What was this tea about, girl? This tea. You are being purposely obstructive, Agatha, and Lady I will not Danbury. have it. Oh, say again. I Lady am. Danbury. As when I understood our new queen, not yet realized that our titles are shiny and new. Is that not an interesting topic for an upcoming tea? Go right. So Lady Danbury's always been a boss then. You surprise me. I always thought you were a quiet one. I am not quiet. It is simply that my husband is loud. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. I need to know what is going on at Buckingham House. Buckingham I need House. What a trusted ear. Weird, isn't it? Seem the reason you need that is so that Lord Bute believes you have the situation in hand. Because if you do not, the House of Lords will be at your door. Well, fair enough. Is not that a fact? Get right, Catelyn Stark. You need to know what is going on over at Buckingham House. We need to be equal members of the top. We can be grateful to one another. She'll be buzzing as well because you guys him out of the house. <laughs> she could have some time to herself. Hello! God, you wouldn't think this is a romance. We've barely seen the bloody bloke. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Neil. Charlotte, if you'll just give me a chance. To... Charlotte, stop walking this instant! It's the fact they always have an audience whenever they have these conversations. Could you tiny just bit... step away and let me. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's incredible. That? that is Venus. <laughs> Venus, the planet Venus. I am staring at oh, Venus. You <laughs> are. I've been studying it. Well, George, it is beautiful. It is. Mm, he's horny now. He's found a woman who likes looking at planets. I'm so sorry. Yes, well, I do not forgive you. Fair enough. <laughs> Yet. Nah. Yet. Yet is hope. Perhaps. Do we ship these two? I mean, we know what kind of the outcome of these two are going to be. <sighs> ship Queen Charlotte and King George. So, Brit so this season is basically the crown, but season 
Oh, we can start on minus 10. Oh, well, there you go. Are they going to consummate the marriage? Does this mean you're coming home? It's Buckingham House. No. His I telescope isn't there. Buckingham House. Okay. That was it. There wasn't like some deeper meaning as to why he was acting weird. It was just literally he wanted to play with his telescope. I don't know. There's got to be more than that. If that is, if it's that simple, then my God, bro. We may not travel together. We did right after the wedding. Uh, rules to protect succession. Right after the wedding, there was no possibility that you might be carrying the next. And um, Brimsley and Emma living together now as well. God, untuck your shirt, bro. Well, that was easy up too. Sorted. If it was a normal season of Bridgerton, they'd have dragged that one out till the finale. It is pretty, but it has a thousand tiny buttons. I'm suddenly concerned that my maids made the wrong choice. I'm very good with buttons. Mmm. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is going to be the most dramatic sex scene ever as well. I can't wait. <laughs> It's like True Blood where a whole sex scene lasts 50 minutes. Which Bridgerton did in season one. They had a sex scene that was genuinely around, what was it, eight minutes we counted. So you get comfortable. This is probably the rest of the episode. Do you know what happens on a wedding night? Oh, yes. I know everything. I have... Reverse cowgirl. Detailed explanation as to what is to occur. Well, that is good to know. I do not like the part where my head hits the wall over and over again. Ah, uh, I think that's exclusive to Lady Danbury. Yes, there is a way to avoid that. Yeah, reverse cowgirl. I just actually threw that one out to you for free. Is that it? Oh, okay, no, I was going to say that's like a speed run for Bridget and God. So far, it's been two minutes. Not bad. Got that good George booty shine there. No, cover your eyes, Ellie. Go away. You can't see this. Come on, George, you get a bit more hip thrust movement going on. There we go, my boy. <laughs> that was a three-minute sex scene. That's, for Bridgerton, actually very quick. That's including all the undressing, all, you know, all that boring stuff. <laughs> GR, what do you think that stands for? Good riddance. Or get wrecked. I bet George. Was, uh, yeah, I can't be asked. Pretty damn bro. Can this carriage please die of a heart attack, please? <gasps> I never thought that I would see this day. Do you know how this happened? I have no idea. Uh, I will tell you how this happened. Well, you had something to do with it, go on. The king yeah. sees me for who I am. Yeah, that's the one, my bro. Value, that's the my one. My worth. With possibly the worst haircut I've ever seen in my life. No, actually, that's that's not true. That goes to the glory. That men are men. Men are men. That is very that true. Is from whence they come. Men do be men in. Perhaps this is the beginning of a new era. You know, I believe... Hush, that... woman. Yep. I will try the key. God. I'm not listening to you, you bloody woman. God, such a shit door for how big the building is. I'm walking into the dentist. I need to know if you have properly bedded her. <laughs> bedded her? Oh, Lord. I did. Me to charm her to make it easier for the crown. I have done oh, well. me I could not let her yes, this classic. No, but I have actually fallen in love with you, I promise. I have done so. I understand. It has been abundantly clear since my first breath that I was born for the happiness. You know, George, did you not think it would be a good idea to shut the bloody door? The crown resides within me, embedded like a knife. You do not need to explain it to me, mother. It is me! Oh my god. I shall have my breakfast now. Ah, there is no need to wait for the king. Well. God, so little's changed. A list of suitable brides for your sons from the Lord Chamberlain, Your Majesty. Thank you, Brimsley. <laughs> Look how many she has. What a lovely breakfast. God, nothing's changed. They're well proud of themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has six Pomeranians. The Queen is at breakfast in the dining room. If you would like to join her, I can. Shall I send for the doctor, Your Majesty? 
No. I'm fine. Are these the, the early health problems? Yes, yes. Get him here. Charlotte. She will never know of it. Mm, she will at some point. Yeah. Because we know he's got serious health problems. We've seen him in season two of Bridgerton, so. Makes sense. Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode two of Queen Charlotte, her Bridgerton story. Uh, yeah, getting that a lot of Pomeranian content in this episode, so that was good. Uh, it did start to go on this episode a little bit, like an hour long. Was, it wasn't so, it wasn't that bad. It didn't like overstay his welcome or anything, but you did feel the length of this one a bit. Um, yeah, I like again. I like Lady Denbury and Queen Charlotte anyway because of Bridgerton. So. Liking these characters isn't too much of a hassle or anything like that. But the actress who plays the young version of Lady Danbury is... I mean, the, the actress who plays the young version of Queen Charlotte is great as well. But in terms of mannerisms, uh, I don't have the actress's name here. But whoever plays... I think it says her name's... No, I don't know if that's actually her. I don't know. It doesn't have pictures. So <laughs> it's hard. Um, but whoever whoever it is anyway, doing a really great job. Um so yeah it's, it's easy to like lady danbury in the past and present past queen charlotte is pretty good we love obviously present day queen charlotte uh, but it's just more kind of building on their relationship i'm glad they've kind of got over the him living over here and her living over there because again we have what like four episodes left now i think if they dragged that out for another episode it 10 episode season they probably would have dragged it out for another episode but it was you know the time is of the essence with this show so i'm glad they just kind of wrapped that up in this episode as well and lady danbury seeing her kind of move up the ranks as well um yeah it, it was a good episode i'll say this was definitely better than episode one still not anything exceptional going on here i don't think it's pretty fine it's like fine to good i'd say this was definitely better than that one though so i gave that one a six i'd say this was like a I'd go a seven. I'd go a seven. It's between a high six or a seven for me, but I'm leaning towards a seven out of ten for this one. I think it was mostly good, and I think it would have been a little bit higher, but that length of 60 minutes did... I did start to feel it. When I checked the time and it said 20 minutes left, I was like, oh, like I thought we were starting to wrap up the episode, which wasn't the case, but um, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So, seven out of ten for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode three. Until then, take care. Peace.